Good morning, ERBC family. In addition to me sending out my daily video devotional thoughts in an attempt to encourage you, I thought it'd be great to try something new this week. I've asked some of the ladies of ERBC to speak to us as a church so you can hear how God is speaking to them. So as you receive these, I want to encourage you to listen in because they have some awesome things to say. So to kick things off today, we've got my favorite speaker in our church, Judy Mandel, who's assistant elementary principal at Village Christian Schools in Sun Valley. And oh yeah, she's also my wife. She's going to talk to us about something she's been appreciating about Psalm 121. Enjoy. One of my favorite things about living in Southern California is that we're surrounded by beautiful hills. And when I look up at them, I'm reminded of Psalm 121, which says, I lift my eyes up to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. And I've always thought of that verse as just looking at the hills and thinking the God who created them is my helper. A few years ago, I read a book by Eugene Peterson that gave kind of a different slant on it. The book is called A Long Obedience in the Same Direction, and it's about these psalms that are the psalms of ascent, the psalms that the people of Israel would quote or sing as they were headed to Jerusalem for worship. And Peterson explained in the book that as the Israelites would have been walking along and looking at the hills, they would have seen shrines or altars to various idols there in the hillside, like Baal and various other idols. And so the thought would have been, I lift my eyes up to the hills, I'm seeing these idols, but where does my help come from? And that assertion, my help comes from the Lord. So I hope that during these days that are hard for all of us, you are finding God to be your help. Let me read the entirety of Psalm 121. I will lift up my eyes to the mountains. From where shall my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to slip. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun will not smite you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will protect you from all evil. He will keep your soul. The Lord will guard your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forever. <laughs> 